This EVA begins the One Bravo power channel upgrade. Chris, wearing the red stripe, egresses first. He sets up their tether anchors away from the airlock to enable them to go farther outboard. Then Bob, wearing the white stripe, grabs his foot restraint and follows outboard. Chris picks up his foot restraint on the seat cart and heads to the external pallet, or EP. The external pallet is held by the robotic arm and houses the new batteries launched from Japan on HTV-9 in May. Chris sets up his tools and prepares his worksite. Bob translates to the S6 Integrated Electronics Assembly, or IEA, which will be his main worksite throughout the EVA. The IEA houses the batteries and hardware for the 1B solar arrays and power channel. Chris will join Bob and they work together to finish setup. First, battery from slot number one is retrieved. The crew needs to release torque with a ratchet, then use the pistol grip tool, or PGT, to complete the release of the bolts. The large battery is removed, and the crew work together to move it over to the EP for disposal. Chris ingresses the foot restraint, and the crew work together to install the battery in empty slot X. Then the arm maneuvers to place Chris in front of the first new battery in slot A. After placing scoops to create handholds, the crew will remove the battery and translate it back to the truss and install in empty slot number one. Throughout the EVAs, Bob will need to move his foot restraint to reach each battery. Next, the battery in slot 2 is removed and translated over to the pallet. At the EP, Chris is in a foot restraint and places the battery on his BRT, or body restraint tether. Chris will release the adapter plate launched underneath the battery. Like with the batteries, he has to use the ratchet to release the high torque and then the PGT to fully release the bolt. Chris removes the adapter plate to hand to Bob. Bob translates back to the truss to install the adapter plate in open slot 2. At the same time, Chris is putting the old battery in the slot he had just emptied for disposal. Together on the IEA, they made a cable between the adapter plate and the new battery to complete the circuit. With one of the three battery pairs complete, they move to slot 3 to remove the next old battery. This battery will be stowed on the adapter plate in slot 2, where it is no longer needed to function. Bob and Chris return to the pallet to retrieve battery B. They repeat the steps to release the bolts, translate back to the truss, and together install an empty slot number three. At this point, Bob and Chris begin cleanup on the first of the two One Bravo battery channel EVAs. They also prepare for the next EVA, including moving foot restraints, securing tools, and bags where they will be needed. Once the worksite is clean, Chris translates from the end of the S6 truss, pausing to reconfigure their safety tethers on the return to the airlock. Bob follows for ingress, completing Power Channel 1 Bravo EVA 1.